Well, the Australian Navy isn't the only one undergoing a major revamp. Taiwan is dramatically boosting its naval forces and has launched a territory-wide recruitment campaign. And as our Asia correspondent Brent O'Halloran reports, analysts are warning Taiwanese officials to prepare for a possible blockade. There are many things one might expect to see on a warship. Lego likely isn't one of them. It's part of a push to promote Taiwan's navy across all ages. Three of its largest vessels are pulling into ports across the territory this month to show taxpayers what they paid for, allow children to get hands-on with weapons and try to convince those a little older to join the Navy's ranks. This is my first time on board a Navy ship. I'm very impressed. Taiwan's undergoing a major upgrade to its naval forces. Eight submarines, ten stealth corvettes and two frigates are in production. It follows a 14% boost in military funding and a change in tack in naval strategy. Taiwan is now focusing on smaller, more nimble vessels to better deal with a possible amphibious invasion. Uh, Taiwan's Navy has some capability. It's somewhat capable. Uh, it has to build up more stuff, but for its own purposes, for Taiwan's own purposes, it gets some of the way uh, along to do what it wants to. As impressive as these ships may be, the Taiwan Navy's most likely enemy is significantly stronger. China's navy is the world's largest, with an estimated 355 vessels, including 78 submarines, 50 destroyers and 80 landing ships. A third aircraft carrier is expected to be commissioned within weeks. China now expand their you know, military projection capability uh, rapidly. Analysts say Beijing would use these vessels to blockade Taiwan before invading. It would cut vital underwater cables and stop the coal and gas imports the territory depends on. The idea of a blockade is to sort of squeeze Taiwan uh, without actually committing to a sort of direct invasion and weaken Taiwan enough such that it capitulates or soften enough, enough as a target such that when the invasion comes, Taiwan is uh, ill-prepared to defend itself. There are calls for more of the military budget to be allocated to the Navy and for Taiwan to focus on a perceived PLA weakness. It's difficulty spotting subs. Submarine uh, operations uh, will play a major deterrent role, role or effects uh, to deter uh, China. Chinese ships are regularly crossing the median line, meaning Taiwanese crews are on constant alert. While Navy top brass hopes showing off its might encourages more Taiwanese to sign up to fight. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News in Kaohsiung, Taiwan.